So you're considering an electric motorcycle, but you think that it'll cost you more than a typical gas motorcycle. Is that right? Let's put that theory to the test. For purposes of this cost comparison, we are going to compare the 2021 model years of the Zero SRF Premium Electric Motorcycle, the Ducati Monster Gas Motorcycle, and the Harley-Davidson Sportster S Gas Motorcycle. Why those three? Well, those are the three motorcycles I considered before I made my purchase. Before we begin, it is important for you to know the assumptions that were used for the comparison. All assumptions are based on information available at the time of publication of this video. No additional costs such as taxes, fees, dealer prep, or other costs were used in the calculations presented. We assumed 10,000 miles of annual riding, and based on data from AAA and the U.S. Department of Energy, a gallon of gas averaged $3.28 and electricity cost $0.13 cents per kilowatt hour. Fuel economy of the gas motorcycles is based on data provided by the manufacturers and real-world tests of the motorcycles. For example, the Ducati and the Harley-Davidson get around 49 miles per gallon. For the Zero SRF Premium, we use the published range data of 169 miles per full charge of the battery. We recognize that your mileage may vary and is subject to how you ride and environmental conditions. Annual maintenance costs were provided by dealerships in my area, and finally, the federal government provides a 10% tax credit for electric motorcycles, up to $2,500 in credit. Now that we have the fine print out of the way, let's compare. First up, let's look at the manufactured suggested retail price of each motorcycle. The Zero SRF Premium has the highest MSRP of $21,495. The Ducati Monster has the lowest MSRP at $11,895, and the Harley-Davidson Sportster S is in the middle at $14,999. As a reminder, these prices are not reflective of what you'll pay at the dealership. Most dealers add taxes and various fees. Before we move on to the next item, it's important to know that the MSRP of the Zero SRF Premium can be lowered by applying a 10% federal tax credit or in this case, $2,149. But dealers typically won't apply the tax credit at time of purchase, and you won't see the credit until you file your taxes. Now let's look at annual cost to ride. As a reminder for this comparison, we assume 10,000 miles were ridden each year. Gas costs $3.28 per gallon, and electricity is $0.13 cents per kilowatt hour. The range used on the Zero SRF Premium is 169 miles per full charge, and the Ducati Monster and the Harley-Davidson Sportster S both have comparable fuel economies of around 49 miles per gallon. You can see by the chart that the Zero SRF Premium costs significantly less to ride per year compared to the Ducati and Harley-Davidson motorcycles. In addition to fuel or energy cost, we looked at annual maintenance cost as provided by dealers. Electric motorcycles, including Zeros, are known for having very little maintenance cost. In fact, most maintenance of electric motorcycles is limited to replacement of belts or chains and tires. Batteries of electric motorcycles may have to be replaced after several years or tens of thousands of miles. Gas motorcycles require regular oil changes, topping off of other fluids, and inspection of various components. Over 10,000 miles, the Ducati Monster requires at least one oil change, and the Harley-Davidson Sportster S requires at least two oil changes. Parts and labor for one oil change and service for the Ducati is $300, and for the Harley is $800. These prices and recommended service intervals were direct from dealerships in the area. Your maintenance costs may vary based on the dealership and your ability to perform the maintenance yourself. Total in the annual cost of fuel or electricity and maintenance show that the Zero SRF is still the cheapest motorcycle to ride by a significant difference. But, when we factor in the initial MSRP with the annual fuel, energy, and maintenance cost, we see that the Zero SRF Premium is still the highest cost motorcycle and that the Ducati Monster is still the lowest after one year. Well, what about after five years? The Harley-Davidson Sportster S becomes the most expensive motorcycle to own, the Zero SRF Premium moves into second place, 
and the Ducati Monster still is the cheapest to own after 5 years. So if the Ducati remains the cheapest after 5 years, then how many years does it take for a Zero SRF Premium and Ducati Monster to equal in cost? The answer is about 9 years. So what's the verdict? Does an electric motorcycle cost more than a gas motorcycle? The answer is, it depends. In initial price, an electric motorcycle is typically more expensive than a gas motorcycle. This difference in price can be several thousand dollars depending on if you're buying new or used and the model and trim. Regarding the annual cost to own, an electric motorcycle is significantly cheaper than a gas motorcycle. However, the annual cost can fluctuate depending upon the price of gas and electricity and whether you do your own maintenance. After five years, when you include the initial purchase price, a gas motorcycle can still be cheaper than an electric motorcycle, but in some cases, an electric motorcycle can have a lower cost of ownership as shown in our analysis. So, should you buy an electric motorcycle? For me, the answer was yes. I purchased a Zero SRF Premium and love it. It's a fun motorcycle and I knew that I would be paying a premium price. But I was willing to pay that premium knowing that electric vehicles are the future. For you, it all boils down to what is most important to you when you consider a new or used motorcycle. If you're looking for a commuter motorcycle, then there are cheaper options available. For one of the cheapest commuter motorcycles that is coming soon, check out this video here.